Okay, my friends, the goal for today's video is to ensure that we don't die. Because that is a very real possibility if we don't put these hood, pin, little hood pins hood pins on today. So with the engine swap in the STI, we do, we, we're not gonna be running a hood latch. Like this part of the hood's probably gonna get cut off. I'm probably gonna cut that off today, actually. Um, the core support's being redone also. So because of that, we're just, we're not running a hood latch anymore. So we need something to be able to secure the hood to the body of the car to make sure it doesn't fly up on us or just to make sure that no one can like break in there and like steal stuff out of the car. Cause that is the last thing that we want. So we are installing some arrow catch hood pins today. So these are like a carbon fiber set. Uh, they are 100% arrow catch. They're not like a knockoff or anything like that. Whenever, whenever it comes to st like safety, I don't skimp out on anything. Like I would highly suggest anything safety related, don't skimp out on because it may or may not save your life at some point. So I've never done this before. It looks pretty straightforward. I have somewhat of a game plan, but I mean, we'll see how well that like actually follows through with it. But we'll, I mean, we'll find out. Now uh, you guys are gonna see like this black material everywhere. That's flock. Um, you guys will see that video later. We flocked the dash yesterday and there's just still flock absolutely everywhere. But for these hood pins, I mean, they look pretty self-explanatory and straightforward. We're gonna have to drill a hole for these pins to go into. Uh, we're gonna have to align it so it meets up with that little like chamber right there appropriately. Uh, I also got the locking set just because I didn't want people breaking into my hood whenever they had the opportunity to do so since we actually don't have a hood latch anymore. But I, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna measure these out, uh, drill some holes for them, and then cut into the hood. This is the second time we've cut into this hood also and the back side of this hood, they just this hood has seen better days. But you know what, OEM hood? Still rocking the OEM hood. Now, I mean, it does kind of suck because I just painted this engine bay too, but you know what? I can touch up areas wherever I need to for wherever we're about to drill into this. Um, so I'm kind of thinking like maybe like right up here, or like maybe use like that hole for like the OEM washer tank or something like that. Not quite sure yet. So let's play with this a little bit. See kind of where we want these hood pins to land. Then we'll start doing some drilling, some cutting, all the fun stuff. Hopefully I don't install these backwards like I did on that BRZ. So I wanna make sure that these hood pins are 100% equal. So we're gonna be taking a lot of measurements just to make sure of that. Uh, just because I don't want, I don't want anything dicey to happen here. So I am kind of thinking of using that OEM washer reservoir, but when, oh, I need to move that. So if we have this guy right here, and then that comes down, that's gonna put our hood pins like awfully close to that vent. So I think I'm gonna bring it up a little more, maybe. I don't know, I really like that spot. Maybe like right here, maybe we'll do up here. I don't wanna take a headlight spot or, what's up with this hole? What does that hole go to? I don't think that hole's used for anything. Let me find Let me find the hole first so that way we know what we're doing. Cause I don't know what hole I'm trying to put it in yet. I don't even know if that time lapse was like long enough to show you guys anything. Uh, but I kind of decided on this spot. There's already a OEM hole here from the factory since we're redoing everything up here. Uh, I'm not too concerned about like taking a hole that might've gone to something else. These are not any of the headlight holes. So this still works just fine. Uh, this is also a relatively flat surface for the hood pins to be able to line up on. So I've got them both on there. Next up, uh, we're just gonna glue on on a little bit of like stuff on top of each one. Close the hood and that'll give us some like idea of where we're going to drill holes for these. Once we have the hole location kind of figured out, we can go ahead and get the templates made up and start cutting holes in the hood. Hopefully, hopefully this goes pretty smooth because I really don't want to have to buy uh, two hoods, one for the STI because I already got to buy one for the BRZ also still. So let's, uh, let's drill some holes. Well, let's mark where we're going to drill some holes first and then drill some holes. Just put like a glube on right there. Put a glube on right there. Now we can close this and this should tell us where we need to drill holes. It should be pretty close. You know, I guess I could have just looked down here, but you know, this works too. Well, well, blam, we got two white dots now. So up on the top of the hood, you guys can see it. There's one right here and there's an identical one on the other side. Um, I'm going to take it, actually they look pretty spot on from right here. Those are already OEM holes. So they should be pretty lined up. So let's get some pilot holes drilled through here. Once we get the pilot holes done, uh, I have no idea how this is going to affect the wrap. So if I have to rewrap the hood because of this, then it's whatever, it's no big deal. Uh, but let's get some pilot holes drilled through both of those. And then we can start lining up the like orientation of how we actually want the hood pins because this is a little terrifying. Thank you. 
So we pretty much, Cameron swung by, by the way. Cameron hasn't been here in a while. So we got the hood pins pretty much lined up on here. So what I ended up doing was I took that metal polish, made a little dab on the backside of the hood, drilled a pilot hole through the first layer of skin on the backside. Then I did a bigger hole through the backside, got it up to about half an inch. And then we did a small pilot hole out through the top. Uh, it kind of landed us somewhat near. As you see, I had to cut forward a little bit more just because when the hood comes down and it's actually sitting down, the angle changes. But now we're trying to figure out the orientation of kind of how these should go because we're running into a small issue now with this body line on the hood where we're trying to find a good spot. I'm thinking like that's probably gonna be the best. I think like that's probably gonna be the best option for us right there. I mean, it, like you said, it is a little bit close up to the front, but I think it'll be fine like that. It is like right on the body line, but the body line tends to disappear right up here near the front of it. I think that's gonna be our best bet, Cameron. So now, now we need to trace out along the bottom side where this is going to inlay, but this doesn't sit flat. That doesn't sit flat. That's not what we want to cut. We don't want to cut we that. Want to cut that inside of it. No, we, want, we can just trace around the outside of that one. All right, so I've got the hood pin latch, the actual latch itself locked onto the pin down here. So I'm just gonna go around this with a Sharpie, uh, trace out the outline of it after we get the angle kind of set, and then uh, we can get it cut out. We'll do the same thing on this side. What do you say, Cameron? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, let me get a Sharpie. So we have one of the pins or one of the pieces in, the pin isn't quite in on this side yet, but we were able to do this in a really cool way where we didn't have to fully chop off the back side of the hood to be able to get this in there. So after we cut the giant hole out, like we did on this side, uh, we kind of just slid it in and then we were able to get the pin in there. So now we're going to cut opposite side. Uh, we're gonna do the exact same thing. What did I step on? We're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. So we're gonna cut this out. I recommend cutting like within the lines when you're doing this, just to make sure that you don't have too much play side to side. And if you do cut too much, you're not gonna have en enough material going around the outside of this to be able to bolt it down. So let's get this side cut out. We'll do the exact same thing we did on that side over here and uh, we'll give it a test. Hopefully it doesn't uh, completely screw us, but we are gonna have to align the hood after we're done too because just letting it sit all the way down, it's definitely too low. So once we get them done, we'll get it aligned and it should be good to go. Master Dremel mechanic over here doing a lot better job than I did. We're nice and snug. That's Look pretty that. snug. That's snug, dude. That's super snug. Uh, you wanna drill the holes for it? Now that we have it inlaid, uh, he's just gonna go around, drill the holes in this, like I did on this side, just for the screws to be able to go through. Once we have those through, we can actually get it mounted up. But this is what I was talking about with the back side of the plate. So we just put a little bit of electrical tape over each of the nut screws on that side. So as the screw goes through, uh, the nuts won't fall out and we can do this without having to like completely cut open the entire back side of the hood, which is kind of nice. That's a nice. Now I vacuum out hole. Uh, so the best way we found to do this as uh, Cameron holds it from the bottom and then we align it from the top. I'm surprised that this worked. No, me too. Same order as last time? Yeah, I'm certain. Wait, what did we start from last time? The top? The top right and then bottom left and then zigzag across. Get these guys put on. I'm just gonna get it loosely. And then... Oh, that's a problem. What does prop Oh. So the hood pins are in and they actually look pretty good straight. Uh, there was a little bit of like custom modification that we had to do to them, but uh, open those. Hood opens right up. So on the pins themselves, if you look at it, we had to focus on the pin, focus on the pin. If you look at the pin itself, it is bent a little bit. So we had to bend the pins to get them to fit. But overall, I mean, they fit pretty good on these stock holes. Um, since we are retrofitting everything in here, or at least up here, it's all right that we use those holes because they're not gonna be used for the actual um, like thingy-ma-do that sits up here. And then this is something that's actually pretty cool. So on that backing plate, we were able to slide that backing plate in through the top. So that way we didn't have to cut massive holes out on the backside. So when this goes down, lock in, lock in, and lock that down. We can lock that down. The whole hood 
is pretty, it's pretty on there. Like it's not going anywhere at all. And they look pretty good. One thing I was a little bit worried about was the carbon fiber difference between these APR ones and these. So these look more like a dry carbon fiber. These are like a wet carbon fiber. I don't know the difference between carbon fiber, but there's definitely a small difference in the carbon fibers on the hood, but you know what? It's all right. Look at that. Came out pretty straight too, which is something I'm pumped about. Uh, this whole old hood latch, I still need to cut off uh, just because that's not that's not used for abs for anything anymore. So pretty stoked with these. I also, like I said, I did grab the locking set so that way no one can break into the hood, but to open them, you just push down on the locking part. Those pop up, pop that up, pop that up, and the hood opens. Pretty fancy. Uh, you do have these like latches sticking up, but you know what? It's all right, no biggie. No biggie, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. So glad the hood pins are in. I do wanna say this right now because I do feel a little bit bad. Um, it's not a whole lot of exciting content right now. I know that these are, these are all the smaller things that are going into the build that I, I want to document and have for myself later on. Um, just to be able to look back and be like, okay, I remember when we did this, we did do that, we did this. And we, it's, like a, it's like a mental checklist in video form. So I'm sorry if it's not like super exciting stuff like, crazy turbo setup thrown on the car or something like that. So, I mean, all the smaller stuff, they have to happen. And I'd rather document it and share it with you guys than just kind of push it off to the side and be like, eh, forget about it. I'm not gonna share it with anyone like that. So, some of the smaller stuff is gonna be going on for, for the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm gonna start mixing in some more of the discussion debate topics. I have a couple of them listed out that I need to do a little bit of research on, uh, kind of organize notes for them and whatnot, and then those will be coming out to the channel soon. I'm also gonna be doing something next week where, um, we're gonna be starting something that I, I wanna do just because I enjoy interacting with everyone. Is we're gonna be doing live streams every other day. So you guys know I upload videos every other day right now. So on every other day that, or for every day that's not an upload day, we're gonna be doing a live stream. I'll probably be doing around like five to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys do have any questions, you wanna come kick it, hang out in the live stream, feel free, come do so. I love hanging out with you guys and I love kicking it with you guys. But for now, I mean, that's really all I got for you guys on this one. I'm super pumped that we were able to get the hood pins in. I'll link those down below. They're awesome fit, finish, and quality. Uh, like I said earlier, if you're buying anything that's safety related on your car, whether it be seats, cages, hood pins, anything like that, take the time, make sure you do buy the quality parts because the last thing you wanna do is skimp out on safety. Safety is like incredibly important to me. And I hope it is to you guys also because I don't wanna see anyone get hurt or killed or anything like that. So. Don't skip out on safety parts. But if you guys like the video, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit that like button and turn it blue like the Subaru. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit your boy up because we do have some exciting stuff coming up. I'm still waiting to get our motor back from Outfront Motorsports. I'll continue to keep you guys updated on that one. But with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies.